How's it going guys? I'm just doing a video testing this inverter. This is going to be my backup inverter for the vacation that we're going on. These are the batteries I'm sending to uh, to Bobby. Just to, giving them a test run, making sure everything's good. Don't want to send them any bad batteries. So what we got here is a 12.5 amp heater or uh, heat gun. And I was just testing something. It's very curious. So these are the wires coming directly off the negative posts. So these wires are shorter. These wires are longer. And I, I posted a video saying that uh, these, the problem with this design is the worst part. The only problem I can see is these get the most load. These get much less load because the wire is almost twice as long. And I'll just show you exactly what I mean by that. I'll cycle this heat gun between high and low and here's the specs on the heat gun. <coughs> and I'll show you guys, so this is 750. So it's 3 amps going to this transformer here. Then I'll go to 1500 and that's 5.8 amps. Okay, so that goes the same for this one. Actually, I'll just I'll just show you guys. I'll go on this one as well. So then we're gonna re-zero everything out. So we're zeroed in, <coughs> and here is uh, 750 and 1500. That one's taking a little bit more. Now let's go to this first wire. If I can get it in there. Come on, there we go. There we zeroed everything. Now we're going to do the same test, 750 and 1500. See the load difference? It's quite quite high actually. We're going to do that, uh, we're going to double check this one, see if I can do it with one hand. Ah man. Here, one sec. Sorry guys. You're going to bear with this. Oh, this is a tight one. I'm going to put you down. I'm four. What's going on? You know what? Maybe I used the other side. Oh, that's what I did. I used the other side of the clamp meter. Sorry about that. Might have to edit that out. So we zero this out. Same thing here, guys. 750, 1500. Now, this side uses less current because I used. I actually used the wrong MOSFETs right here. So I crippled this inverter by the MOSFETs I replaced this with. There's the original there. These can do, I think, 130 amps continuous. This can do 120 amps at 25C. The second it gets warm, it can only do 60 amps. So I crippled this inverter on this side. So if this fails, it'll actually be my fault. So yeah. That's okay though. It can do uh, 1500 watts. The voltage does droop. 109, 110 volts. That's no big deal. And 12 even actually. So that's not bad. So as long as I don't pull the full 3000 watts out of this, the IGBTs, they don't give a crap. They're they're doing fine. Like the heat sink's not even warm. It's a tiny heat sink because I severed it. But anyways, it works great. And Bobby's battery here let's see here oh actually you can see it right here let's see what the sag is on those batteries let's see if we can see that it's 46.8 volts oops and 45.8 volts so 45.7 so one volt sag on 1500 watts so that's not bad at all and I tested them all they're all at 3.9 volts they're all the same voltage within 0.2 of a volt. Point, or sorry, 0 0.02 of a volt. So everything's looking good. I had this through rod, but it was or this bolt, not through rod. Sorry, long bolt that came with the uh, not these another pack that I, I just put a bunch of bolts as a spacer to sandwich it for now until it gets the bobby. He can either leave it like that. I just got a spacer there. He can either just leave it or he can uh, put through rod. I'm gonna give him two of these bus bar connectors they're kind of nice they close up real nice yeah 
And that was all running through this 60 amp fuse. I put a fuse there. And with this inverter, I always have to put a fuse in line because when I repaired this inverter, I wasn't able to replace those fuses. I just literally just put a big blob of solder across it. So this, like this, these, this side is fused, but this side is not fused anymore. So I have to run a fuse beforehand. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Batteries are coming, Bobby.